everyone, it's Nisha. So today I'm going to do for you this look and I think I've worn it a couple of Mondays ago in one of my one Monday's videos and you really liked it. I couldn't quite remember exactly how I did it but I'm sure this is very, very similar what I was wearing. Surprisingly, this is very, very easy look. It's very quick. Um, very quick way of doing smoky eye and you can do it just with, with one eyeshadow as well which i've done before um but it's quite effective it's very intense so it's not for shrinking violets uh, but yeah it's really quick to do it and really easy i hope you enjoy it and keep on watching yeah. with um maybelline color tattoo in metallic pomegranate it's a beautiful color you need to take synthetic brush stay the best to work with flat synthetic brush to work with cream eyeshadows and just place it all over your mobile lid right to your crease well you know sorry if you can hear my dog but he's here with me Do the same on this eye and that will act as your primer as well for the eyeshadow. You could just use that, you don't have to use any eyeshadows on the top of it. Then I'm going to take um, garnet from the Lorac Pro palette and on a Real Techniques shading brush I am going to go over that just in a nice patting motion You don't have to be very precise because we will blend that out. So now you're going to take something like, I've got here a Coastal Sense brush 250 and just try to now blend it up slightly upwards. So just keep blending it up a bit. <coughs> then I take in the L'Oreal. This is called Colorish Le Ombre Pure. That's the name of the <laughs> eyeshadow and the type is smoky and the name is Escape in Bordeaux. I don't know if you can see that. Beautiful colour. It's very, very soft. Um, I'm going to take the same brush that I applied the garnet, just the other side of it. And I'm going to concentrate more Tap it off because it does have fallout on my I'm starting to do my seven okay for my hooded ladies and then bring it a bit in we will blend it out again okay let's do our seven this side Remember, we have sevens, not Vs. Because <laughs> if you do a V, it will be fatal low and it will drag your hood down. Take again that blending brush and let's blend the edges of it. I don't know if that shows on the camera but these shadows are so rich and 
shimmery and beautiful. I don't remember exactly if that's what I did. But I know I've used this colour, so... Okay, I'm going to do the bottom lash line now and again I will take the colour tattoo in metallic pomegranate, take the same flat synthetic brush and sort of prime the eye. You could leave it just with that, but you know, if you use eyeshadow there, then it's got something to stick to. And you have to be careful because with these dark eyeshadows you get a lot of fallout. But what you could do is always to do the eyes first and then do your foundation. I don't like doing that. I don't know why. Um, I'm going to now take this one first, the L'Oreal. Take a pencil brush. And... Go sort of halfway. And then I will go to the Lorac Pro Garnet again. It's that one, which is a beautiful color and go over it with that. And I like to go with it quite low because it is proper smoky look. And keep blending. If you want to make more of a transition, you can take something like Bobbi Brown Wheat, which is almost like um, your skin tone colour. Clean up that blending brush, take it on a blending brush and just on the edges of that eyeshadow, go very lightly. Gives you a bit more blended out look. And that's it for eyeshadow. Quick and easy but quite effective. Then what I did is I taken my cold pencil and this is my Avon Super Shock, you know how much I like that one. And I will take one of these spongy applicators, pointy ones to smudge it. And I am going to draw a line, doesn't have to be very straight because we are going to smudge it. I do one eye at the time because it's nice to smudge it when it's still wet. Well, it's not wet as such, but before it sets. And just smudge it. So this is quite easy because the eyeshadow is so dark, you're smudging the line, so you don't have to be very precise. You just want that really um, dark eye. I love this look can really go to town with it and um, it really does bring your blue eyes out. And I'm going to do the same on my lower lash. I'm going in my waterline and sort of in between my eyelashes as well. And I can smudge that too. Now 
Now just mascara and today I'm going to use the Tarte Light Camera Lashes. And I also wore fake eyelashes, didn't I, that day. But I probably won't put them on. You just know that you have the option to. Because I need to go out later and I think I'm already looking very overmade and I don't want to put false lashes on as well and you don't have to because it's such a dramatic look that all the false eyelashes would do is make your eye look even darker Okay, so that's the eyes done. Let's do the lips. I think we do something pale pink for this. So I think for my lips, I'm going to use a Rimmel Eastern Snob lip liner. Then for my lipstick, I will use, um, what is it from? Sleek, from Sleek, Sleek Makeup, True Color Lipstick Sheen in Liqueur. It's a lovely nude pink. It's a lovely lipstick actually. So creamy. And to finish it off, I will use my all-time love that I haven't been using that much lately and is the L'Oreal Glam Shine in 101 Pink Moon. Love this stuff. Okay, and that's the finished look. I think this is really easy because it's quite effective, looks very smoky, but you don't really have all these real rules where you have to do the crease and, and all that. It's just basically packing on color and then just blending it out upwards. So I hope you enjoyed this look. Thank you very much for watching and I see you soon. Bye.